Hey guys, Mike Chen here in Chicago, Illinois, about to head out to film this amazing Filipino feast. But if I have something I haven't had since the last time I was in the Philippines that I found it here in Chicago. And if you don't know what it is, it's a giant communal feast that's eaten with your bare hands. So it's gonna be a lot of food. Just finished my workout before going out to film this and before getting to this video. The second part of my daily routine and the sponsor of this video, Athletic Greens. I told you guys this before, I've been taking this every single day for several months. I took this for a while before telling you guys about it because I wanna make sure it's something I love and now it's part of my daily routine it's super simple take a scoop or a travel pack put it into my travel bottle 8 to 12 ounces of water shake it up and drink so every day in my routine wake up work out drink this on an empty stomach since doing that i've been feeling better i got more energy also actually tastes good and since i'm getting older i've been taking a lot more vitamins minerals and uh before athletic greens i used to carry around about a half a dozen bottles all rattling around in my suitcase sometimes one bottle will run out before another bottle it's just really inconvenient it's really messy but with this one scoop or one travel pack gives you 75 vitamins and minerals probiotics whole foods sourced superfoods for me it's just such a convenient way to stay healthy. Also, H1 always follows the latest research. They go beyond third-party testing to make sure whatever they're giving you, you're getting the best quality and the best nutritional daily habits on the planet. In every box, you get a pack, you get a travel bottle. It also comes with travel packs and vitamin D. I don't go into the sun much. I, I don't like the sun. So I make sure I take this every single day. So if you want to give this a try, go to my link down below. You'll get a year's supply of vitamin D and five travel packs free with your water. This is really a game changer for supporting your immune system. H1 really does provide your body with everything it needs for optimal performance every single day. Also, my parents now take this every day. I got my friends hooked on it as well. It's really something I would highly recommend. All right, I'm gonna go take on this bullet fight and uh, enjoy the video. Hey guys, Mike Chen here in Dubai. I'm here at the Ritz-Carlton for a ginormous Arabic buffet feast. There's multiple sections here at the buffet. We got Arabic salad, desserts, grills, bread, main courses, and the whole area, it's so beautifully set up. You dine at these tents. There's entertainment, there's live music, there's people performing in colorful costumes. Let's see what's on the menu. This is chicken mandi, it's a from Yemen. We cook it for three hours. Uh-huh. Under the ground. Underground, three yeah. hours. So the rice is down and the chicken. Wow. We use more than 16 spices to marination the chicken and the rice. And this is the wow. chicken. Wow. Very, very nice. Very oh, nice. that's beautiful. Yeah. 16 different spices for the chicken and the yeah, rice. Yeah, exactly. You have to try. It's very, very nice. Thank you. Thank you. All, all you have. Oh. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is toffee. Is a sous chef here. Yeah. This is amazing chicken. Thank you very much. This is a feast for the ages. Oh my goodness. So um, everyone is so accommodating here. They set up this incredible appetizer feast, 12 dishes. I'm just happy I didn't eat all day. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Let's just get started. First of all, I'm gonna need some pita. Freshly made, by the way. Piping hot, right out of the oven. <sighs> if that doesn't intensify your hunger, I don't know if we're gonna be friends. I really don't. Okay, Jackson just came by and poured some Moroccan tea, which is made with Moroccan mint. 
This is delicious. Starting out, oh my gosh, there's just so much. This one is called Labnet. It's stringed yogurt with pistachio and boger, and they drizzled olive oil on top of this. Take my fresh bread. Oh, that was good. First thing you get, a little sour from the yogurt, then the sweet pop from the pomegranate start going off in your mouth, and then that great nutty, fatty flavor released by the pistachios. That's a great way to get the taste buds going. And these two are two versions of baba ganoush. This is the more traditional one uh, with smoked eggplant, pomegranate on top. This one has capsicum, which is a type of pepper, and molasses as well. Love baba ganoush, that smoky eggplant flavor. It's just borderline intoxicating for both of these. This one right here is more spicy, is more vinegary, but still that great smoky flavor of the eggplant just shines through beautifully. What we got in here? So, uh, this one normally we call it bidet. It's uh, part of uh, turkey. We mix either half and half cheese and meat, yeah. or we make one cheese and one meat. So you can see inside how it's Buff and rice all yes. the dough. How long does this take? It takes three to four minutes. Three to four minutes? Yes, because the oven is really hot. Yeah, wow, this is beautiful. What is this? Cherry sauce. Cherry sauce? Yeah. So we, put, we add some lamb, lamb ball on it. Lamb meatballs. Yeah. Add some butter, uh -huh. sugar to make the sour and sweet in the same time. Yeah. We call it cherry kebab. Cherry kebab. It's from Syria. That's beautiful. Please. Okay, so the starters are finally complete. Um, two more dishes arrived at the table. There's a pide with cheese and lamb. Also a Syrian dish, cherry sauce, lamb meatballs. The meatball on that. Oh wow, sweet, sour, nutty. Obviously extremely meaty. No gaminess. I mean, the cherry sauce took care of any of the gaminess. The meatballs are tender, they're juicy. The sauce is so rich and fruity. And all these dishes go so well with a mint tea. Next up, the Mahamara. It's a spicy nut dip made with four different types of nuts. I see cashews, pistachios, walnuts. Things just keeps getting better and better. That might be my favorite thing tonight. It's so nutty. You know how nuts have that when you chew it. It's got that great fatty flavor. This thing is so spicy as well. Unbelievably delicious. This is the spinach bilzate. Saute spinach with lemon and fried onions on top. Oh, this is so good. It's buttery tasting spinach, which is such nice crunch from the onions. And again, the little sweet pop from the pomegranate. This is the beetroot matzo ball with tahini. Whoa, a lot of these dishes I never had before. I'm trying my best to describe to you guys a flavor profile from someone who's not as familiar with these dishes. I love tahini. I love it. It's one of my favorite things in the world. And tahini mixed with some sour beet is just transformative. Mm. Well, it's sour, it's creamy, it's crunchy. And what I love about all these dishes is that the flavor profile is so different. Once you take a bite, there's just so much going on. It makes me so happy. This is a salad with the cheese fermented in the sun, wild herbs, some cucumbers, onions, tomatoes, and it's called Chinglish. Whoa, that is spicy. I mean, really spicy. Nice fermented sour flavor from the cheese. Yeah, you definitely need a lot of the fresh vegetables on the side to kind of dial down the heat a little bit. Because that cheese will light you up. That's delicious. This next dish is stuffed olives with almonds. And this is a latvid ball, which is a yogurt ball. There's walnuts in here, there's some lemons. Wow, the olive flavor is strong. That's an aggressive dish. I feel like this would be really good paired with some meat or maybe the pita. Hummus. Always good. Of course, there's tabbouleh salad. This is the most famous Arabic dish. 
It's a parsley salad with bulgur wheat and lemon. I love that thing. That's always a classic. This is fatouche. It's a fried bread salad. Oh, the bread is so crunchy. Uh, shawarma just been sitting here. I feel so bad. Chicken shawarma. This is mind-blowingly good. I mean, I've had chicken shawarma before. I took a bite of this and came, nah, just chicken shawarma. This is excellent. Let me show some love to the chicken shawarma. Thin wrap, nice and chewy. The chicken is tender, not dry at all. Incredibly flavored, incredibly delicious. You taste the smoke. Yeah, I'm just gonna dip this in uh, some of the baba ganoush as well to kind of enhance the smokiness. Also dip it in some of the hummus. I mean, the shawarma is good on its own. But right now, all the food in front of me, there's just so many different flavor combinations and flavor profiles. You guys just play around with this. This Turkish bread. The cheese is Kashkaval cheese with feta. It's got a little cold. The bread itself is utter perfection. And I'm gonna take, this is the lamb. Oh. A little sour and sweet from the tomatoes. So incredibly juicy, wow. So this, let me show you guys. This is the one meter kebab that they're really famous here. And the chef told me that this is the best lamb chop I will ever have. It looks like a great lamb chop. It smells like a great lamb chop. Oh. I think you might be right. This is freaking insane. This thing is beautiful. Look how juicy this lamb chop is. Perfect color. This thing pretty much explodes in your mouth. You basically have to bite and slurp with this lamb chop. The outside is beautifully charred as well. That's amazing. And the kebab, and the meter kebab is, uh, they're both lamb. And one is spicy, I think is the one I'm, I'm cutting out right now. And inside is filled with pine nuts, mint, garlic and Syrian chili. And the outside, look how beautifully roasted this is. Oh, that kebab is so good. <laughs> and also you dip it into this dipping sauce, specially made for the meat. Mm, the sauce, a little sweet. You can taste the smoke from both the kebab and the tomatoes. And the non-spicy kebab, Oh, the sauce is just amazing. If you don't like it spicy, but you still want all that great flavor from the nuts and the mint and the spices, choose the non-spicy kebab, but either way, there's no wrong choice. Mm. And there's two types of chicken. The one I just ate, is, it's called shish tawuk. It has cumin, garlic, chilies, and the other one is marinated in yogurt and lemon juice. Also, bread stuffed with lamb. There's also seafood grill as well. Shrimp, fish, lobster, grilled golf lobster. Oh, that's sweet. And all the seafood is marinated with uh, shamala, which is a Moroccan herb sauce. This is the chicken that was being roasted when we first got here in the underground oven and the rice that was beneath the chicken where the chicken juice was just raining onto it. Oh, this rice is divine. Oh my gosh. Yes, over 16 spices in this dish. And you can taste the chicken inside the rice. It's so fragrant. It's almost a senses overload when I put this in my mouth. I mean, this thing you're tasting with your tongue, you're tasting with your nose, you're tasting with your heart. I'd be happy if I just came here and ate this rice alone. That's how good this is. Oh, this fish is tender. This is barramundi fish and a tomato sauce. 
Oh wow, such a mild, tender fish. Extremely flaky, the sauce is fantastic. Little tomato, onions, herbs. I didn't really quite hear um, what Chef said about this. I mean, whatever that is, that's freaking awesome. There's lamb covered in yogurt, a little sour, creamy, no gaminess with the lamb, and the fattiness of the lamb is balanced so well by the yogurt. This is definitely one of the most extravagantly delicious Arabic meals I've ever had in my life. It's definitely the best Arabic buffet i ever had in my life. And again, I just appreciate how traditional all these dishes are. And we haven't got to dessert, look at this. That looks pretty good. And a giant hot kanafe, one of my favorite desserts. Mm. Wow, this is so good. This buffet basically represents what Dubai is. A melting pot of just so many different nationalities, ethnicities, cultures. Everything is so delicious, well-prepared, well-presented. The staff are extraordinarily friendly. You got beautiful entertainment, music, dances. Everything is cooked fresh. Also the price, $69, around $70 if you don't want seafood about 82 83 dollars if you do that's pretty good price for all that you're getting here i mean once i think i paid about 50 bucks for a buffet in vegas i felt like the entire selection of the buffet was, was cooked out in the desert and then just left there will highly recommend if you wanted just a taste of all different types of arabic cuisine and you want to have as much as you want this is the place to be all right they're about to close soon so i gotta get our eating on and as always guys thank you all so much for watching till we eat again see you later Good evening, it's Mike Chang here in Dubai. This video is gonna start a little late because still on US time zone, just woke up. It's about 9, well it's 10.30 p.m. now. Woke up at 9, had a reservation at 9.30, just got seated now. This place is packed. So many people, it's called Barbecue Nation. A really famous all-you-can-eat barbecue place from India that's now in Dubai. So uh, I don't know how this works because it says the buffet is gonna close in like half an hour. Let's get to it. So took a look at the buffet. There's veg options, non-veg options, a bunch of live cooking stations, dessert station, a lot of stuff on this buffet. And there's grilled meats that I think you order from the table. So as soon as you sit down, um, they're gonna bring you a plate of barbecue. You can tell them you want a spicy, non-spicy, little spicy, more spicy. And the barbecue is partially grilled and you finish it off at your table. I gotta say, although we got seated late, people were talking to it, the manager, so incredibly nice. We're waiting, give us a drink, pretty. And now just waiting for the meat. The meats just started arriving at the table, some crispy corn. This is really yummy. This is crispy corn, it's delicious. Light crunchy shell on the outside. Mm. Inside a burst of sweetness and juice. <laughs> it's really, really good. So it's almost like a Brazilian barbecue concept. They just keep bringing stuff. Mm. There's some heat in that. They brought over some mutton, some potatoes. All oh, the barbecue, there's so much flaky flavor. Mm. It's so funny, um, it came in, they stressed to us that everything is unlimited, like maybe like six times, which I appreciate. I love places loves giving out food, like I was saying. Chicken is spicy. Taste the chilies, you taste the cumin. Oh my goodness, look at the juice coming out of the chicken, thank you. Also brought over a non basket as well, and there's dipping sauce, there's mayonnaise, there's mint, there's mango. My goodness, this tandoori chicken looks awesome. Mm. That's so good. Next one, I'm gonna put it in my naan, sprinkle some crispy corn all around it, some mint chutney. Oh, my barbecue is smoking. First of all, none is superb. Also, anything wrapped around that juicy chicken, it's not gonna be bad. Mmm. This shrimp is exceptional. That is utterly amazing. First of all, heat level is great. Also, they're so nice. They keep coming by the table, making sure the heat level is good, the spicy level is good. But this shrimp, oh my goodness. It's nicely charred, it's got amazing flavor an amazing heat. I mean, that's all great, but the tenderness of the shrimp, that's some Disney level stuff. Hmm. I think that's one of the best cures I've had pretty much anywhere. Ah, oh, so good, so good, so good. Right now we're still on the skewers, but 
there's a whole buffet to explore as well. Again, with a bunch of live cooking stations. So gonna finish the skewers and head over. It's delicious. Mm. It's awesome because the person that made it for me told me to eat it right away before it gets soggy. Mmm. There's a sweet one. I don't know which one that is. But what yogurt? Oh, that one might be my favorite. Mm. All paneers go toasted cheese. <coughs> I'm really excited about this. Grilled pineapples. Oh, that grilled pineapple is delicious. It's a spicy, toasty pineapple. Oh, with just a burst of sweet juice once you take a bite. So far, I love this buffet. Also, got a pop tea chop. So a lot of the popular Indian street food items are represented here on the buffet. Oh, this is so good. I think this dish is one of the first street food items I tried when I was in India. Mm. Crunchy, sweet, yogurty, always good. Back to my seat after getting uh, one last plate of buffet food and some dessert. Came back to this. The grill has been replenished. Eat my coffee first before second round of barbecue. Mm. So so good. They put some rose water, some honey, some pistachios all over the ice cream. Thank you, thank you so much. Also, I got some Jollibee, one of my favorite dessert items ever. Crispy, sweet, delicious. Like a burst of sweetness. Also, while on the buffet, got some biryani, got some masala, got some paneer. Mm. This place is quality. All the food, amazingly delicious. Everything from the fresh barbecue to the cooked dishes, everything is good. Speaking of the barbecue, spicy fish, like extra spicy fish. Oh, this is flaky. Whoa. So flaky and juicy. And of course, this is spiced up via my request. Mm, that's delicious. One of more prawns, but spicier. This is definitely spicier and smokier. Favorite item of the night is the prawns right here. Overall, amazing barbecue buffet. Everything I had is delicious. The people are so nice, by the way. Kept coming to the table, checking up on us. If you love Indian food, if you love skewers, if you love barbecue, and you're in Dubai, or India, definitely check this place out.